Hey guys, what's up? This is Shark Talking. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video will be very, very different. As you may know, I, uh, I've seen by this picture. I'm not playing any game right now. I just want to have an honest conversation with you guys. And it's not exactly a vlog as well. But um, recently I had a lot of bad news, a lot of things that were not going according to my plans. So today I have a good news and this is good because I want to share with you guys as well. And some, some days some things uh, may happen bad things may happen one after another and then you lower your morality and sometimes you just think about giving up while doing what you love i almost think about giving up making content for youtube because of some things that happen just like uh not seeing the game being enough to help me become a content creator but it was also driving me very tired because the game is just way too time consuming and I was also handling a lot of parts of the community things and uh, I just had to let it go sometimes and I was not able to let go. I, I think I have some problems with letting go of things. It's something about my personality uh, because I'm a little of a perfectionist. I didn't choose to be one, but I just can help myself sometimes. So um, back when I realized that it was not going exactly as I planned it, I had to search for more uh, job. I work on my house uh, fixing stuff like video games, console, uh, notebooks, PCs, uh, even GPS, cell phones, uh, some things about cell phones, not exactly everything. And that it was my main source of income. But uh, as I was leaving myself more time to, con to create content or even play games, I was uh, noticing that I was uh, losing time on my real job. So some uh, views got a little late. And I was thinking the only option for me to choose um, another job, uh, maybe do the same, the three things at the same time. Uh, still be a YouTube content creator, still work from inside my house, and also work outside with a company. And I got some freelance jobs from a company that pays very badly, but it did help. It, uh, it's when you're uh, in a need of a um, solution, even not the best solution you work. You just have to get what it, it's uh, on the front of you and try to get the best of you. And that was it. Uh, I was um, was working for some days on this company and it was going well. I'm uh, learning very quickly how to do things. And they call me go through some different um, companies uh, around where I live to fix stuff, PC stuff, sometimes uh, system software stuff. And it was uh, and it's going well. The only problem is that they pay very very badly. But uh, it didn't help, and I'm trying to to work within uh, every time that I need. So uh, as you may have uh, noticed, I was talking about some of the, uh, part of this stuff on my recent videos, and I also made a post on the community page saying that I will try to play other mobile games uh, like uh, Seven Deadly Sins and maybe Ark Knights. But the thing is, I didn't like these games too much. I really couldn't get into Seven Deadly Sins because I, I don't like the franchise. It's not a, that I don't like the franchise, I never saw much appeal on it because I never got to to watch it from the start. I was always on somewhere and some people were watching and it was some video on the internet or something like that. I couldn't get myself into liking the game. And I also knew that a lot of people were saying that being a Korean based game, it will mean that it will just be a uh, energy drainer. The, the, the Korean games are always like uh, play it on auto for the whole day or else you won't be able to get to the tops I don't know really mind getting to the tops, but to be a content creator You have to be a little above average to at least understand the ecosystem of the game and all of the, the mechanics To be uh, able to to tell uh, what people want to you to tell uh, Strategies and guys you have to learn everything and be on the top of it or else you are just saying things that other people do uh, you can maybe uh, try to understand a game by watching other videos of other people, but that's not how I do. Uh, I never did that. Uh, maybe I sometimes use it some things for other people, but I might always refer to that. Uh, I don't like to, to just keep watching uh, other content of other people to uh, just say the same thing that they did. And uh, that was how my life started with um, what in Force. I was creating strategies for the game, creating strategies that some people didn't use, I was also talking about strategies that also other people use it, and sometimes we would just create new strategies together. So it was a very funny part of it. I always liked to do that. 
I even uh, think I remember that I started trying to create guides back when I was playing uh, Shin Megami Tensei or not, no, it was Digital Devil Saga uh, the, the, the special boss, the Hitoshura the, the, it's that, Hitoshura, yeah, I think it's that Demi Fiend, uh, they localize it as Demi Fiend there's a special boss that it's considered one of the hardest bosses of JRPGs and I always made some notes from when I was uh, um, a kid I always made notes about how uh, gameplay works, about how uh, battle system works and all other stuff. I always like it to reverse engineering things and things like that. So I can't bring myself to be another person. I know that sometimes you have to just make amends and be what the internet wants you to be or else you want to see. I do some part of it. Um, I started playing another game, a mobile game as well, Sensei uh, uh, Shining Soldiers, but I'm covering it only on Portuguese Brazilian, uh, because it's uh, a game that is very popular on Brazil, and not exactly outside of the world, maybe on Latin countries, but not exactly on the USA or global audiences. So I, on that channel, I'm trying to do things that other people do as well, trying to analyze things, because you can't be the, a good content creator, but if People don't watch what you're doing. It doesn't means that it doesn't reach your potential. It does not help you in the end. You have to follow part of the trend. You don't have to be a copycat or an imitation of something else. You have to add your own original value to your ideas. But you still have to follow part of the flow, or else you'll be just uh, swimming on different oceans than everyone else is swimming. So I, back to the original thing that I was wanted to talk about you guys is that I'm really thinking that I will be able to start making another content and I will release it as soon as possible. I didn't uh, really finish my runs of our profile original game that I wanted to post on the channel, but I think I found a new format that will be able to keep releasing videos of older games without um, pressing too much on it. I already started to reduce the number of videos of Ocar Anatomy and it will have to be this way because else I will just not have time to make the channel grow. I remember seeing on YouTube that started around alongside me or very close to me that he has around 70,000 uh, subscribers now because he followed the trend, he made guides and videos about all of the popular games that got released. Meanwhile, he's probably living out of it. I'm, still not living out of it. I have to uh, uh, grow a lot more to be able to live out of it. So um, this video is just to try to talk to you guys being honest a lot of things and you can see this is my scenario. I, <laughs> this is a very cheap material that I built with my wife and my mother-in-law to make a chroma key setup. And you can see that I have this very very old um, chair. It's uh, because my cats keep uh, scratching it and making it look even worse. I will try to fix it very soon because someone that fixes shares owes me some money because of some service that I did for him and I probably will have to do that. And this brings up me to the, the original point that I'm very uh, happy to tell you guys. I, I had uh, two losses just when I started uh, creating content for YouTube. The first one is that I had a uh, ultra wide and monitor from Dell, it was a very awesome monitor, but it had some problems. Sometimes my two cats managed to uh, send the monitor to the floor. They don't know how they manage because they are, don't have that much weight. And it happened. And I, uh, But it didn't broke. It still worked for some time. There, there was just some lines of uh, red and blue bars on the screen, but I was still able to work. And it was pretty awesome to use that because uh, I couldn't just make a, a 1080p screen and still have some space because it had more space to put the, 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 the software that I use for recording. So I could just use Mac screen for play and a little off screen for recording without hurting every, everything else. But after some days, uh, some months, the monitor stopped working and I had to bring my... Um, uh, uh TV to my uh, place where I record stuff. So you guys can see it. this is my my camera, and I'll try to to show you guys exactly how I am right now. Look, this is uh, my um, keyboard. 
and I'm also using a TV to record stuff. And the most interesting thing is that this TV is also gave me something very interesting that is the camera that I record stuff. Uh, this uh, camera I use for to record uh, YouTube content came from the TV. I was looking for a camera, a cheap camera to try to record videos for YouTube. And I didn't find a cheap one. <laughs> so I remembered that my uh, TV had um, Skype alongside the TV. It was a very old idea that some TVs came with, with it. So I tried to install it on my PC and it worked. And it's the one I'm using right now. So this is it. It worked very well. So this brings me back. Uh, this I still couldn't solve. I still want to get an ultra wide monitor. And I will be able to with some work. I uh, will get back there because it's a very costly one I had uh, back on the days that I, w I had a better job. So the other thing that I lost when I was just uh, doing my YouTube content crea creation was my chair, the original chair. This one is not the original one. The original one is very broken and I had it for four years. And uh, this guy that fixes chairs managed to give me this one here. Uh, and it's not good. You can see that it's full of bad things. It's not working correctly. So what happens is that I try to contact the, the customer service for my original share because they uh, I was still on warranty time. And they didn't want to give me another one because I was uh, it was five years of warranty. And uh, when I um, claimed it in my warranty, I was very close five years when it broke. So it was a long discussion, more than one month of discussion. And they finally uh, uh, gave me one new chair because they were saying that they didn't have the original chair that I purchased it, and they would only give me part of the money and so on and so on and so on. But they finally give up and give me a chair. So I will show you guys my new chair on this video. This video is about my new chair. But I was always uh, also trying to say some new stuff about my life, and I'm very happy because you see uh, I lost my chair doing this content creation because uh, you keep moving. And you stay a lot of time inside uh, on the top of a chair. That, that one lasted for four years. I can't ask more than four years for a chair. So I will make, I will open my, I, it's here. I got it and I will show you. It's here. As you can see, I got it uh, recently. I will make, because uh, you have to mount it. You have to just open it and mount it yourself. So you can see here, I'm very happy with this because they gave me the, 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 the priciest one. Because uh, one of the ones I had it was not the best one, but had the, the highest warranty. Five years, only one of their shares had it. So this one, I think it only has three years. But uh, I don't care about the, the warranty anymore. I want a good chair and look uh, there's a lot of pieces that I have to mount here but uh, there's a manual I will try to make it with this manual so guys I will just make it uh, assemble this and when I'm back I will show you guys the final results because this one I'm using here is a very one old one that got uh, this guy fixed it but it's still very bad and I'm finally able to use this one and I'll show you guys when I finish okay I will pause the video here so we can talk about it later here, so you guys can see, look at the quality of this thing, yes, <laughs> I'm very happy, it's my b best chair I ever got in all the history of things. You can see that it's very high quality, I don't know if you're watching, you can see it's very high quality. I don't know if my cats will keep this for the same time I want, but well, we'll have to see this, maybe I will put something here to try to reduce their impact on this. Well, so now you have it. Some minutes later, you see this is my new chair. This is the old chair that I was using. And you can see the difference in quality is pretty awesome. So I will just remove the old one here and, and replace it. And yeah, we're done with it. You can see the quality here. Guys, this is a dream come true. You know that it's something satisfying in getting something that you want. And having a good uh, use of it. It's good because it I can relax more of my back because I have some back problems. And well, <laughs> I'm pretty happy right now, guys. I 
pretty happy. So thank you for watching this video, this very short video. Uh, we'll see each other on the next one. Bye.